Hi, I'm Rhys and I'm a product designer on Bitbucket Data Center. Today I'm going to show you the advanced auditing feature our team has recently shipped. Advanced auditing allows admins to log and analyze events across Bitbucket Data Center for compliance, security, and better visibility. The feature has three key elements. An audit log UI that provides easy access to the list of logged events, configurable log events that allow you to adjust the level of logging based on what's best for your organization, and log files externalization that helps to integrate advanced auditing with third-party monitoring tools. Let's have a look at advanced auditing in action. In the administration page, you'll find the audit log where you can see the list of logged events and get details for any specific event, including what, where, and when. In addition to viewing an audit log, in the administration page, project admins and repository admins can find an audit log page in their project and repository settings. Those audit logs display a subset of the events that are relative to the particular project or repository, and they do not show global events. Now let's have a look at the advanced auditing settings. For that, we will return to the Bitbucket administration page. In the top half of the settings page, admins can set the retention policy this refers to how much time audit events will be stored in the database and the maximum number of audit log files that can be created. Now onto the coverage areas. Global configuration and administration logs events when an admin makes changes to the global settings. For example, events like changing the Bitbucket URL or disabling Git LFS. User management logs events that affect users and user groups. For example, events like user creation or user LDAP syncs. Permissions logs events related to global project or repository permissions. This coverage area paired with the user management category can help mitigate risk and prevent users from having accidental access to sensitive data. Local configuration and administration logs events when admins change project or repository settings. For example, an event will be logged if an admin changes the number of minimum approvals for pull requests in a repository, which can be a compliance issue. Next is the security area that logs suspicious events like authentication failures or anonymous attempts to get access to a repository. End user activity logs events when users create commits, create branches and work with pull requests. And last but not least is the apps coverage area, which logs events generated by third party apps. And within each of these coverage areas, you can also set the number and frequency of events that are logged. Base logs only the core events, which are basically the must haves. Advance logs core events as well as the low and medium frequency events. And full logs all available events. Be careful when selecting the full coverage level on large Bitbucket data center instances, because your audit log can often hit capacity 10 million records quicker than anticipated. Now let's take a look at if you need to find a specific event in the past. Advanced auditing has a rich set of filters to help you with that. For example, in order to find out how active a specific user was in pull request comments, we could select pull requests from the categories filter, select a user from authors, and then select a date range. Next, type comment into the search filter. Now we can see the history of all comments made by users in Bitbucket Data Center during those dates that were specified. If you need to save the results for further analysis in a file, we've got that covered for you too. This can be done by exporting to a CSV. Or if you need an advanced analysis of events, you can integrate advanced auditing with a third-party monitoring tool such as Splunk, Elasticsearch, Sumo Logic, or any other. If you'd like to get in touch with us, we'd love to hear your comments about advanced auditing via community.atlassian.com.